In sketching the graph of a differentiable function, it is useful to know where it increases or where it decreases over an interval. While uh, this lecture gives a test to determine whether it increases and where it decreases, and it also um, shows us how to test the critical points of a function to identify whether local extreme values are present or not. Uh, okay, now this is corollary one. Suppose that a uh, function is continuous on a closed interval and differentiable on an open interval. If the derivative f dash of x is greater than zero at each point x which belongs from an open interval a b then the function is increasing on the closed interval a b and if the derivative value is less than zero at each point x uh, then function is decreasing on the closed interval a b the function with positive derivatives are increasing function and functions with negative derivatives are decreasing function a function that is increasing or decreasing on an interval is said to be a monotonic function on the interval now let's discuss an example find the critical points of the function and identify the open intervals on which the function is increasing and on which the function is decreasing this is the function taking the derivative substituting it equals to zero getting the critical points now, uh, <clears throat> as we all know that the given function is defined on whole interval minus infinity to plus infinity. Now, breaking that whole interval on uh, into sub intervals at the critical points, we are getting three uh, intervals, sub intervals minus infinity to minus two, minus two to plus two, and two to positive infinity. If we calculate the derivative value. Uh, at the uh, at uh, if we calculate the derivative value then uh, if we uh, take minus 3 we get uh, a positive value if we take 0 which is between minus 2 to plus 2 we get mi uh, minus 12 and we if we take uh, a value from 2 to positive infinity we are getting a positive value so the sign of the derivative is increasing in the first sub interval decreasing in the second sub interval and increasing in the third sub interval so uh, this tells us that on the whole interval minus infinity to plus infinity the function is not behaving in the same manner it is increasing decreasing and, th and then again increasing now here comes the first derivative test for the local extrema suppose that c is a critical point of a continuous function f and that function is differentiable at every point in some interval containing c except possibly at c itself moving across this interval from left to right if the derivative changes now if f dash changes from negative to a positive value at point c then the per, uh, function has a local minimum at that particular point c if the derivative value changes from positive to negative at point c then the function has a local maximum and if the derivative does not change sign at that c then uh, the function has no extremum at point c now this is a function and we are checking the open intervals on which the function is increasing and decreasing and we want to find the local min max of that function so taking the derivative after taking the derivative we are <coughs> and substituting it equals to zero i am getting two points at point one and uh, at po uh, point one and point zero so at point if we substitute one uh, we can see that um, at point one the function is defined at point zero the function is undefined so uh, at uh, substitute uh, so dividing the whole interval minus infinity to plus infinity into sub intervals where uh, first uh, sub interval is x less than zero the other interval is uh, zero to one and the third interval is from one to positive infinity uh, here if I uh, substitute a negative value in the derivative, I am getting a negative sign, which means the function is decreasing. If I will substitute uh, a value between 0 and 1, like 0.5, then once again, I am getting a negative sign, which means the function is decreasing. And if I substitute 2, 3, 4, 5, any value that is greater than 1 in the derivative, I am getting a positive sign. That means the function is increasing. So according to the first derivative test, uh, for increasing and decreasing uh, the function is decreasing on the first sub interval then again decreasing on the second sub interval and then increasing in the third sub interval so um, the function is not behaving the same in the whole interval in the in that whole uh, uh, 
domain now according to uh, the first derivative test of local extreme values uh, let's see the sign of uh, the sign at point zero at point zero uh, if we substitute the left values i am getting a negative sign and if i substitute x greater than zero then once again i am getting the negative sign as the sign of the derivative is not changing so we cannot include uh, we cannot say that zero is a local uh, extreme value now uh, investigating one if i'll substitute a less value uh, a value less than one uh, i'm getting negative sign and if substituting a positive value greater than one i'm getting a positive sign so the sign is in uh, the sign is changing from negative to positive that means that point one is the local minimum uh, local minimum now let's discuss exercise 4.3 in question number 10 we have to find out the critical points and check whether the function is increasing or decreasing and we have to use the first derivative test for local extreme values now this is the derivative um, doing some algebraic manipulation equating it equals to zero i am getting two points four and zero okay now um, the whole interval i can because under uh, we are getting an under radical sign so uh, so uh, negative value is not allowed it in the, under the radical um, so, uh, so uh, we'll exclude the negative values i'll start the interval from 0 to 4 and 4 to positive infinity if i'll substitute the value um, between 0 to 4 uh, in the derivative i am getting a negative sign while if uh, if i substitute a positive value 5 6 7 in the derivative i am getting a positive value this means the function is increasing so from in interval 0 to 4 the function is decreasing on the interval 4 to uh, positive infinity function is increasing as the sign is changing from negative to positive so point 4 is the local minimum now in question number 13 uh, the derivative is a trigonometric function the interval defined is 0 to 2 pi and we have to check in this particular interval that where the function is increasing or where it is decreasing so uh, substituting the derivative equals to 0 solving it i am getting the two values 1x is pi by 2 and x is 2 pi by 3 and 4 pi by 3 so the critical points are pi by 2 2 pi by 3 and 4 pi by 3 dividing that interval 0 to 2 pi into sub intervals i am getting um, four intervals 0 to pi by 2 pi by 2 to 2 pi by 3 2 pi by 3 to 4 pi by 3 and 4 pi by 3 to 2 pi so if i substitute values between 0 to pi by 2 and uh, substituting the value in the derivative i am getting a negative sign from pi by 2 to 2 pi by 2 pi uh, 2 pi by 3 once again i am getting a negative sign from 2 pi by 3 to 4 pi by 3 if i substitute any angle um, in the derivative i am getting a positive sign and from 4 pi by 3 to 2 pi uh, i am getting a negative sign so the function is decreasing on the three intervals and increasing on one interval so uh, according to the first derivative test for local extreme values the function is changing sign at pi, uh, 4 pi by 3 so um, there is a local maximum at x equals to 4 pi by 3 according to uh, the derivative according to the derivative test and uh, first derivative test and at x equals to 2 pi by 3 i am getting a local minimum so uh, in this manner we can divide the sub intervals now <clears throat> once again here uh, a function is written we are taking the derivative substituting it equals to zero this function is a polynomial so it is defined on the whole interval minus infinity to plus infinity so breaking that uh, particular interval into sub interval minus pi uh, minus infinity to minus 3 pi by 2 uh, sorry minus 3 by 2 and minus 3 by 2 to plus uh, positive infinity so if i substitute uh, a lesser way a value between uh, if i'll substitute a value from this interval i'm getting a positive sign and if i substitute value from this interval i'm getting a negative sign so a function is increasing at this interval decreasing at this interval 
now check whether these critical points are the local maximum or minimum minimum so according to the first derivative test as the sign is uh, uh, sign is changing from positive to negative that means that minus 3 pi by 2 is the local maximum substituting this value in the function i am getting this value so as this is a critical point so a uh, function has its absolute maximum value 5.25 at minus 3 pi by 2 Okay, and now uh, there are a uh, few questions which are uh, which I have solved over here. The exercise questions you can solve them by yourself and check whether uh, your answers are correct or not.